What's up YouTube? This is Chris with VB Tech Support and I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a pretty long time. I've been busy uh, keeping my main channel up to date. I recently went over 2.2K so I'm pretty excited about it. I'm trying to get some videos out for that channel as the mods are released. Um, that way I can get it out quicker, get more views, and get more subscribers. But um, I'm back. Um, I've been working on a program here recently. It's going to be released on my modding channel. I might release it here as well. but. Um, best chance, make sure you subscribe to my modding channel because that's where all of the, my releases will probably go to. Um, so today I'm going to teach you guys about progress bars and how to actually use progress bars. So I'm just going to go to a new project and I'm just going to name this for the sake of the tutorial progress bar. Now keep in mind there are different ways to use a progress bar. In this application I'm just going to teach you how to actually start the progress bar rather than what it's used for. That way you can get the basics of a progress bar. There'll be an advanced progress bar tutorial later on, so just make sure you subscribe and look out for that. So we're just going to add us a progress bar. Uh, I'll probably put this about right here. Center this one up for us. And then we're going to enter a button to actually start this progress bar. So we're just going to go ahead and put this right in here and center that up. And we'll just name this Start. We can also put in a stop button so you can actually stop your progress bar. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that as well. So just go ahead and name that one stop. I'm going to just highlight both of those and center this in my form. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to drag in a timer. This is actually what's going to, uh, where all our coding is going to be at, except for just a few lines of coding. So let me find the prog uh, timer, excuse me. And so we've got our timer, our two buttons, and a progress bar. And I'm going to rename the form one as I forgot to do that to progress bar okay so now we've got this whole form laid out um, if you're using this application it's not going to look exactly like this you're just going to use the coding so under start we're going to go timer one dot start and then under stop timer one dot stop okay so now that we've got that cancel this now that we've got this we've got our two buttons coded, we're ready to code our timer. So what we're wanting to do is we're going to just have the progress bar start. So progress bar one dot increment open and close parentheses plus one. This means every time the timer ticks it goes up one increment. Now, as you can see on our timer here we have it to a hundred so it'll go up to a hundred. If you want it to go slower put it up to a thousand your progress bar is going to load slower I'd recommend keeping it at a hundred because it's not really too long it's pretty much right there just right and then we're going to say if progress bar one dot value is equal to you can either put maximum which is the maximum that it can go to or you can just put um, 100 since that's what your timer is set to then message box dot show progress bar tutorial and I totally failed there guys I'm sorry about that so there we go so now we've got this I'm just going to show you the basics of this we're going to debug this you can also click F off and we're going to start it as you can see it starts our progress bar I'm going to wait for this to completely load, and then I'm going to show you that stop button works as well. Wait for this to reach 100%. And see right here, guys, how it continually runs? That's an error on my, on my part. So um, always, whenever you do this, before you enter your message box or whatever you want to happen, make sure you go timer, timer1.stop. That way, you don't get that spam. Um, as you can see there, that you can actually leave this part out and make a spam bot to spam somebody's computer. It's it's according to what you want to do, but I pretty much kind of showed you how to do both of those in one tutorial on accident. So if you just don't put that timer one dot stop code in there, you can just create a spam bot and have it spam somebody's computer. As you can see, when it gets to 100, progress bar tutorial. So I mean, there you go. Also, I'm going to debug this again and show you that our stop works. Click stop. And as you can see, our progress bar stops. Click start. 
and it'll start right back up. That way you can pause the progress bar. So yeah guys, um, this is just a really quick tutorial on the basics of using the progress bar. So I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while, but uh, I'll be uploading more videos very soon for you guys. So make sure you just stay subscribed, tell your friends about me, and I'll get some more tutorials out to you very soon. So again guys, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.